Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. You're with Amira. Welcome back to Psychic Readings Live. And we're going to be doing a couple of pre-ordered super chats. I'd like to welcome all the newbies. The pre-ordered super chats are the ones that are ordered prior to the reading if people are living in different time zones and they would like their super chat to be done first. They do a pre-order, which is through my website. You can see the link in the chat and also below in the video. I'm going to be using my Love Oracle deck, Amira's Love Oracle cards. They are available on Amazon worldwide and they are on sale right now for the holiday season as well as the Coffee Cup Oracle deck and also the Tarot. So let's have a look and see how we're going to move forward with this reading today and welcome everybody. Happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. How is everyone doing? Did you have a good weekend? How's your weekend going? And can you hear me okay? I'd like to see if everybody can jump on in. Jump on in. Yep, looks like it's rolling. So here we go. Thanks for likes on arrival, everybody. Those of you who are already here. And I'll do a shout out to everybody once we do these two super chats. We're going to start with Jennifer. Not her real name exactly, but I'll just call her Jennifer. She knows who she is. Jennifer. Okay, we're going to start with Jennifer and the pre-ordered Super Chats are $20 minimum and the uh, suggested donation is $10 or more for the live streams just so that we're not, um, you know, taking up too much time doing lots and lots and lots of different readings. <clears throat> okay. All right, so thank you so much, Jennifer, for your pre-order and also your super chat. Let's have a look and see. Um, relationship with E. Okay. Okay, let's have a look and see what the relationship with E is, go how it's going to pan out. I'm going to use my Love Oracle deck, any channel messages that come through as well. For those of you who are new, you can ask the audience about my readings, one-on-one -on -one readings here on the live streams, how accurate they are. You will get a confirmation from many people. I do channel messages, messages from spirit, contacting past over relatives, anything about present or future readings, predictions, love readings, picking up names, how you're going to meet somebody, where, when, career, business questions, business ideas, business. Actually, I've given so many people a lot of business ideas over the years that they've actually used to their advantage. So um, I'll often get business ideas for people to um, move forward with, to create passive income or to create a little hobby business or to move or segue into via, out of their career. Okay, so let's have a look for, for Jen, Jennifer. Let's have a look at Eric. <clears throat> Both of you have been hurt before and you are tentatively moving into this relationship. Okay, you will be going on a trip together. There is a honeymoon card here, vacation, enjoyment, honeymoon with the travel card. Let's see what that's about. He might invite you on a trip. I think travelling with somebody definitely brings out the uh, the truth in a relationship. It also brings out the best and the worst in people. So you can find out if, you know, you're compatible for a long-term sort of committed situation by travelling together. Okay, it could be a business trip or he might be or you might be travelling on a business trip. There's also a new love here. So this could be the birth of a new pet and you love, you might get pregnant with him. Yes, that could actually happen uh, quite soon because it popped out the new love. And if it's not with him, it could be with somebody else, a new love coming in through your work, Jen, Jennifer. So that's an interesting one. Your question, will you travel together? It's a definite yes. You got travel was the first card that jumped out. What are his feelings? Okay, we've got another jumper here. Passion. He's very he's very attracted to you, but is it more than just passion? Passion and dating. Is it more than just passion and dating? You know, is he going to kind of let himself drop into the relationship and be real with you and, and be vulnerable with you? This is the this is the big question, isn't it? Okay. 
soulmate connection. So I feel like, so yes, I feel like this, this relationship has a lot of potential. I feel like keep going. Let's do, I'm getting like an 80% chance of it going the full distance. If for some reason you don't see traction anytime soon, you might actually pull the plug and step out of the relationship. True love connection is definitely there. You feel like the time's, time's ticking and the clock's ticking around you with the short-term card. You've also got a fair male here, fairish for his cultural background. So lighter than darker, that could be him or somebody else. At the moment, I feel like he does feel like you're a soulmate. He does feel passionate towards you. He does feel connected. There's maybe a young, a youthfulness about him, sports cars, cars, automobiles. He likes driving, road trips. There could be a road trip coming up as well and or this younger male coming in if you're up to the age of 29 or this man is younger than you. If you're over the age of 29, let's pick one more. One more card for this particular guy in question. What are his intentions? I feel like he wants to have a, a wedding. Somebody wants a wedding. Maybe that's you. I'm seeing a church around you. I'm seeing a cross around you. Um, friendship is definitely what he he values in you at the moment. So I would put a time limit on it uh, for yourself as to kind of like how long are you willing to wait for this guy to step up to the plate and ask you, you know, what's going on, that type of thing. But I feel like there's an 80% chance of it moving forward. I'm feeling more positive than negative about it. So thank you so much for that. Jennifer, all right. So let's move on to the second pre-order of MJ. Let's have a look. MJ, what's going on? Is your boss trying to get rid of you? Okay. I don't think so. I think he's trying to make you jealous. Yeah, he's trying to make you jealous. I feel like he's got deep feelings for you underneath everything and he's trying to make you de jealous. He's in two minds. He's feeling also, I feel a bit inadequate, like you could receive a better offer and he might have heard about this particular person that you went to have a look-see with, this um, Asian person uh, interview that you had a look-see with and he might have actually... Um, been told about it, picked up on it. Uh, the the person might have reached out to him about it, and he might have heard about it somehow or sent something. I do feel like he is also quite um, kind of emotionally enmeshed with you, like you are with him in some way, even though that's you're not in a relationship with him because you spend so much time with him. Let's do a, do a spread for you, MJ, about your work coming up in the next three months, what's going on. I would still be keeping your options open and I would also be still looking to see if there are other job opportunities coming up for you. And I still see some, I'm sorry to say this, and I know this is, could be unethical for some people, to, might think it's unethical, but I see somebody having a heart attack. Not necessarily they die, but they might have heart issues. There's judgments here. I don't, I still feel like your boss's health is not great. You will be getting an offer. It's a definite yes from somebody. Water sign male is coming up again for you. Cancer Scorpio Pisces male, very nice energy. Or it could be a male who just wants the best for you, wants you, wants you to themselves. Could even be your husband wanting you to himself, doesn't want you to work so much. You're going to have a new idea about things. You're going to start something fresh, mm, moving on, moving forward with a new idea, a new situation. Maybe your boss will leave. Mm, but I don't see. There is movement here and leaving and going somewhere. I don't know whether you're going or he's going. But I don't feel like you're going anywhere. Any, some, but something around you is moving or being offered to you or moving forward or moving around you, if that makes sense. 
you're going to be offered something. You're not going to be feeling like it. You're also grieving a little bit like he's gone off and um, you kind of feel a bit betrayed by him, like he's going out with other women, even though you're not in a romantic relationship. You feel like he could be backstabbing you as well. You will definitely get another offer of some description in the next three months. Okay. And what's this offer going to be? Could be something bigger and better. It could be something that is offering you more money as well. It is definitely a, something to do with finances, a money offer. There's also something here coming into play with your husband and his inheritance. There could be a rewriting of the will or his will coming up. You might also hear about somebody meddling in your business at work or there's a third party around you and your boss. <clears throat> so I would be kind of cautious of that. I would sort of like just be careful about who's seeing what. I feel like also I'm just getting that you might, some people might be recording you or just be, be careful of not being recorded for anything that you're acting out on. So even in the parking lot or any arguments or stress or situation, because you are quite fiery, just like fiery as in fire, fire, passion, just be mindful of any cameras in and around the workplace, even outside in the street parking lot. And I also see you wearing a mini skirt. So maybe wear a mini skirt to work and maybe he's going to go, ooh, ooh, look at that. Look, I think you're going to be wearing a mini skirt. Mm hmm. Yes. And even though you do wear a uniform, you're going to come in with a mini skirt and he's going to go, uh oh, what are we up to now? Also, your husband's going to start to get a little bit more um, on the page, I feel as well. You're going to start mixing it up a bit. I see you in a black mini skirt, actually black leather. So I don't know what that's about, MJ, but it's you actually are going to look phenomenal in it, so I wouldn't worry about it. I'm also seeing you in heels, high boots, heels or high boots, stilettos or high boots. So I would just be, you know, walking it, walking it out, yeah, if you've got it flaunted is what I'm getting for you, my love. So I hope that answers your question. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on in the live. Okay. Hi, Lisa. How are you, Lisa Marie? Welcome, welcome. Hi, Julia. How are you? Hi, Mimi. Welcome back. Lisa Marie, welcome back from Illinois. Mrs. Fixit, welcome back. Welcome to make a donation below to answer any of your questions. Hi, Divine Goddess. How are you? Oh, wow, you're back from, yeah, from India, all the way from India. Good to see you again. Okay, Lisa Marie, thank you for the 50. Let's have a look at Lisa Marie, what's going on with Lisa Marie. Let's see. Okay, just reading your question. Okay, your son's still living in LA with his girlfriend. Are they engaged yet? I think you said that they did get engaged. There was, was there somebody I missed? No, it's coming up. Hi, VBN. M, how are you? Whereabouts are you located right now? Just to get a location for you for the move. Okay, let's have a look, Lisa Marie, what's going on? Message from Ricky, Rick in spirit. Let's have a look and see message from Rick in spirit. Okay, he's... 
the message I'm getting for you straight away is let bygones be bygones, whatever that means. And I feel it's something to do with his side of the family. I feel it's something to do with his mother. He's also acknowledging that you weren't treated very well by somebody in his family. I feel it's, it was a female, could have been mother or grandmother when you were uh, very young. I feel like like when you first met him, that sort of era that you were in with him. And... They were kind of intimidated by you or thought that you would take him away or wanted to hang on to him in some way. Okay, he's also showing me um, an sand in an hourglass and also the words out of that particular series, that soap opera, The opening to that series in the soap opera, Sands, Sands of Time. What is that? If anyone can weigh in on that particular soap opera. Was it in Dallas, that soap opera, something like that? The Hours of the Sand Glass in Time, something about time moving slowly. Step back in time. I feel like you're going to be going up to Buffalo to sort out this land situation, this property thing. I feel like you're going to go up there for some reason. I'm seeing you going up there to sort something out and I feel like it's what his wishes are for you as well. He's, re he's got a lot of memories reminiscing and I feel like you're also reminiscing memories with how things were, the fun that you had in, in the days that you were with him, you know, the years, the days that you were with him, concerts and music and going out and having fun and just things that people do before they have too much responsibility in their lives usually uh, and kind of just throwing caution to the wind. Why am I getting sands in the hourglass? Who, who can tell me what that is? Hi, Macy, how are you? Don't wait for what, yeah. Unless you've got something decent to say to people, you're not going to be actually answering people's questions. Yep. Um, days of our lives, so proper days of our lives. Yes, yeah, sands of the hourglass. Good days, the days of our lives. Okay. So I feel like he's going over some memories with you, um, Lisa Marie. Memories and it's something also to do with time. Time stood still for him in some way to do with you. He's also showing me a horse. So I don't know if there's somebody around you who wants a horse or who's always wanted a horse. There's also lucky money coming up for you as well. Let's go back to your question regarding your son. I suppose where he's living is probably the best place to be in the, you know, mu music industry, graphic music artist, unless he's doing things online, but usually they have to go into the studio. Will he get another job? Yes, I feel he will. And giving him more stability and security. You've got protection there. He's also protected from spirit. Uh, he, he's also, I feel being guided regarding his girlfriend. A lot of Sagittarian men, they actually don't want to be married so they can string things out for a very long time. So here's the Sagittarius, 8th of December. So it could be that he, you know, a lot of Sagittarians don't want to fully commit. They're more about, you know, having their freedom and living their life and travelling. 
He's also got some work involving travel or there will be a journey to see him or him coming to see you. What's going to happen with his girlfriend? I don't know. I'm just getting the word fizzles out. So I don't know if it's going to be fizzling out before or after the main event that they might be presenting. Let's have a look. Let's cut a card. He wants to buy a house. Maybe first, he wants to do everything correctly. He, he's actually going to buy a house. But I kind of feel like he's very sceptical about this um, girlfriend taking part of his property. And it's almost like when the, when the, em, when the, when the uh, envelope seal is dry for the invitations of the, of the wedding, I feel like he might pull out. I don't know. I'm just getting he's not really 100% kind of convinced. He kind of likes things as they are. Um, he's not that worried about having children. It might not be in his path. He's more career-oriented. He will buy a house and he will do very well, I feel. And he will get more opportunities, yeah, with his business. Absolutely. Thanks, Lisa Marie. Yeah, and I think he knows that you and his father and spirit don't want him to really commit. Okay, so let's have a look. Thanks, Lisa Marie. Hi, Michi. How are you, my love? Welcome back. Commitment in January but no wedding day is set. Okay, yeah. I don't think he's going to set one anytime soon. That's my feeling on it. Could go on for years. But he's also worried about marriage in California and getting divorced and also losing everything that he's worked for or half of what he's worked for. Okay. Okay, VBNM. Okay. Looking for a husband, should you move to Austin, buy property, buy a home in Dallas as investment or neither or we'll wait it out? Okay. Does your brother know what he's, what he's talking about or would you be better off to get advice from a, um, you know, a financial advisor? Okay. Austin is where your sister is. Okay. Hi, Letitia. Welcome back. How are you? Let's have a look and see about husband for you. Hi, Bossy Megs coming down to you. Let's have a look. Information about a husband. Good question. I feel like Austin is a good option for you, especially you have support there. And if you're going to buy anything, you might buy something there. I'm also seeing like rent to buy. You might buy an apartment or something small in Austin, something affordable, rent to buy. I don't think so much as an investment property is going to sort of solve the issues, especially in Dallas, Unless prices have really reduced and there's going to be a bottom out in the in the market, and I don't know if that's happened yet in the United States, you can tell me either way if that's happened or not. I would just sit it out for the moment and save, you know, as much money as you can. Let's have a look at this husband situation and the time of events to buy a property or not. 
timing wise with this husband. You might already have a property you can just move directly into. And I am seeing you with somebody in Austin, actually. I've got a vision of a memory. When I get a memory of something, uh, I'm, I'm seeing a single family home. It's not huge, but it's very nicely kept. It's got a nice garden and or grass around it. And it's uh, modern and it's uh, renovated, restored, or it's fairly new. This guy's around your age or quite young as well. There we go, jumping card, home real estate. I feel like this guy's got a house and you can move into his house and then buy a house together or an investment together. And also if you become his dependent, there could be a tax break in that as well. So freedom, blonde female, whether you dye your hair blonde, red or wear a wig, I'm not sure. This is also the Texan girl, the California girl, the Midwest girl. The blonde female is the girl in jeans. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm seeing towards the northern part of Austin for some reason and near the water. There's a water, a water flow, river, fountain, uh, something like that. You're going to keep your options open. I would definitely be open to something new. You've got freedom here. So when you feel the most free is when you attract somebody. I'm getting an M initial like Mark, Martin, Mario, M-A sounding name, first, second or last name, Mark. Yeah, I would just um, not invest in anything. I would just save as much money as you can or... If you need to go bankrupt, go bankrupt with the tax debt if it's that if that's difficult for you to do and start again. I mean, you can do that. A lot of people do that or they seek a financial advisor and work out how to get around it. I feel like you might meet somebody through your work or through friends, networking or associations, groups. Could even just be through dating as well, dating apps, dating, Bumble, Hinge, etc. I do see you moving, so I feel like you might move in the next uh, inside the next few months. So I think it's a good idea to go towards Austin. Thank you, thank you, BDM. Thank you. Hi, Blissful Oracle. Welcome back. Hi, Letitia. <laughs> Coast of California is calling your name. Excellent. All right. Okay, moving down to Bossy Megs. Thanks for the 9.99. Bossy Megs ran into Sean Sage, the baby's dad. He said he didn't want us to have bad blood and wanted to meet the baby. I did meet a guy last night and Late degree Virgo, Elijah with the T. What's the T on him? Okay. What do you want to know about Sean? Maybe he's having second thoughts. Yeah, maybe he wants, you know, access to his daughter or something. Maybe he's having second thoughts. Is that... Mm. Okay, Megs, let's have a look. Oh, he thought you had the baby and you didn't have the baby. Oh, <laughs> that one. Okay. What, he's a weirdo, isn't he? As if he just kind of like not even know that you had the baby. Maybe maybe he's just delving or digging into something. Trying to sit. Well, you haven't you haven't asked him for maintenance or child support, so he's probably wondering if that's going to pop up. Okay, I wouldn't worry about him. Let's just do a card on him just to get him out of the way. I feel like he's just probably just trying to have another shot at you, shoot his shot. That's what I feel. He also wants to work on the relationship with you in some way. 
he might have grown up spiritually in some capacity as well. And there's also a blonde female around him. That could be you if you're dyeing your hair blondish or somebody else. Yeah, I don't, I'm not trusting him 100%. He's being kind of a typical Sag, freedom loving Sag. Okay, so let's go with Elijah. That seems to be a repetitive name for you, this name, Elijah. Okay. Hard working is what I'm getting straight away with him. Hard working. Working at um, either paying a car off or buying a new car is what I'm getting. Family person, family wants a family. I feel like he's more family focused than you might think he is. Ask him what he's, what he's looking for and what, he, what is he offering you. Fair male, young male, there's the car. He could actually be somebody who might help you quite a bit. He might help you move as well. Just see what he comes forward with. I feel like there's a good egg in one of these, you know, sooner or later, after going through the uh, all the eggs in the basket, there's one good egg in there. It's just a matter of finding that one. Hearing about him through the grapevine, somebody you know knows something about him. What are the obstacles about Elijah? He's trying to boss himself up. I would be question marking. He thinks you've got money and he wants you to invest in something. I'd be questioning that. He wants to be the big boss or he's acting like a big boss and he might not be the boss or he might be married to somebody else legally and not with that person. Um, you're definitely going to have a new love coming in who is going to be somebody fresh and new that you haven't met before. If this guy's new, I don't know if it's him, but it could be him. Soulmate connection. And somebody who wants a family with you or to be a family with you. Whether you have a child or not, it doesn't matter. But there'll be a family with you. There's a blonde female again. Ice queen. You're definitely being the ice queen, Megs, which is a good thing. You will have fun with this guy. He is there for fun times. You're going to have more than one option coming in around you for sure. A lot of them will fall away though. So... Elijah, I feel like just see if he's hiding anything. I'm just seeing, feeling like, mm, is he hiding something? I need to sort of dig a little bit on that one. You're most welcome, um, VBNM. It'd be nice if you change your profile name so we can read it. So I can read it easily, like just rolling off the tongue. Okay, but you don't have to, so don't worry. All right, Blissful Oracle. How are you, my dear? Welcome from Miami. Want to open another store in Miami? Will that be lucrative? I also want to start a band. Okay, I'm getting a yes and a yes, so let's have a look. I feel like uh, for some reason Miami is on the up and up and it's a good time to sort of jump onto something. You might find that the right storefront in the location that you want or in a position that is sort of lucrative. It could be near that walking street um, in South Beach. Let's have a look for Blissful Oracle. Thank you for the nine, by the way, 999. Let's have a look. Okay, Blissful Oracle. Mm, that one I just cut there. Fair male. There could be a man involved who wants to be involved in your business. Uh, could be don't bite off more than you can choose. So don't make sure that this business is local, that you're not traveling in and out or to and from the business or it's at a distance. You could actually meet somebody if it's not. I think you were married, but I think you, I don't know if you keeping your husband or not, or you were estranged from your husband, but there could be a new love popping into your life there. So let's have a look and see. 
you're going to attract a lot of attention down there in Miami. A lot of it's going to be uh, flaky attention. Yeah, a lot of it's going to be flaky attention. Destiny will open a path for you. Um, if you feel like you're going to, it's going to be too much for you, I would say don't open a second store. But if you can manage it, I feel it will be lucrative. It's all about staff, isn't it? All about finding the right people and being able to trust the right people. Now let's ask about this band because if you do two things, it might be just too much at once. Is the band going to take off? I feel like it's a yes as well. There's a man here that's going to do this band with you. Yep. So he's the one. He's the one. And you're going to get gigs as well. So just make sure that you don't get too many uh, things in the way of that because that band might be something that I'm getting casinos and also going around different parts of Florida with the band. Choices and decisions to make. You might have to choose between the band and the second shop. It might be easier to have the band than the second shop. I'm getting gigs in, in different areas and casinos and also being connected with the right people. Do what you feel passionate about. I also see you at some sort of music festival or outdoor festival on the beach, beach festival. Okay. Thanks, Blissful Oracle. Okay, you have a store in California was considered traveling, but yeah, maybe it's too too much. To to either have one in California or one in Miami, but I feel like two on either side of the country is a bit a bit too much. Yeah, either or, either or. If you want to move to Florida, you could sell the one in California, go to Florida. But I think the one in California is doing quite well. You could also do an, a consignment store online and I think you've, you, you're have you in consignment or something like that or vintage vintage clothing. So I feel like you could do it even online, do something online, yeah. I don't think you need to have another storefront. You don't want him, Meg's LOL. Yes, he has light skin. I did get a feeling that is why you asked about him. Okay, got it. Hi, Cassidy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to put a super chat donation below to answer your question. Looking, okay, now that we've come to the end of the super chats, for the moment, unless we get some more in, I'd like to do a last call. Last call, everybody, for the super chats. And um, I'm going to do a collective read. We're going to do a pick a card. Love reading for Halloween. Love reading for Halloween. Pick a card. What's coming up for Halloween? Ooh, got a new love jumping out there. Collective. Thanks, Cassidy. You're welcome. Go for it. Take your time. I'm going to do a collective in the meantime. Uh, mm, pick a card. New love. Mm, the topic could be new love for the pick a card, okay? So we're going to pick one, two, or three for the for the Halloween love reading. One, past life connection. Feels like two cards, but it's only one. Past life connection. Feeling like you know somebody. There's a deja vu. Meeting somebody by chance or destiny. Feeling like you've known this person. They could be in the past in this life or the past. Somebody connected to your family or who is soul family to you. Pile number two, young female youthful, somebody in music and fashion, somebody who is revamping their look, that could be you, redoing their makeover, doing a makeover, hair, body, music, you know, fashion, wardrobe, somebody who works in fashion and music, somebody younger than you, and you've also got young male underneath, so somebody who's around your age if you are young, girl. Uh, there's a good match there. There's like a nice, nice match. You might meet through music, through some sort of music group or some sort of music uh, type of concert or celebration, party even, Halloween party. Could meet somebody. Go to a singles Halloween party. Those of you who are single who chose group number two. Group number three, 
brunette female, intense and focused. Keeping your eye on the target group number three, fun times also for you. You could be just like not really that interested in love, just keeping your eye on the target, fun times ahead, having too many dates to really know which one to pick. I feel like this one is a bit of a Meg situation. There's a lot of eggs in the basket and it's about picking the right egg. A lot of short-term types of rotations going on and they may or may not be your cup of tea. You might be sort of slicing people in and out quite quickly, yes, no, yes, no, sort of like being very decisive about who's in and who's out. You might have to not kiss a few, lot of frogs before the prince, but you might meet a lot of people before the right egg comes along. Okay, thank you for that. That will be time stamped probably by Michi. Thanks, Michi, in advance. <laughs> Hi, Letitia. How are you? New love. Yeah. Okay. Cassidy, thanks for the 10. Wanting to know info on husband or future name, love, names, location, personality. Also life purpose and how to bring it into in bring it and myself into alignment. What's your little backstory, Cassidy? How long have you been single? And what sort of work are you doing now? Or where's your life up to right now? Studying, working, what sort of industry? I'm getting something to do with flowers. So I don't know if you're going to be doing floral decorations using feng shui, uh, flower arrangements in feng shui to manifest things into your life. Putting more flowers in your home, in your love corner, which is the opposite corner to the door, and uh, on a diag diagonal, a diagonal view from the door to the right-hand side of the house in the far corner of that um, house corner, room corner, etc. Putting more living flowers there, pink, red, something very uh, romantic or a romantic object or item there is a feng shui remedy for you as well on that. You're going to meet somebody bossy who's going to be maybe a entrepreneur, father, boss figure who's older than you who might have his own business, whether he's young or, young or old. He could have his own business or be a boss as well. Okay, currently coaching and music, shamanic stuff. Oh, good, good. You might go into feng shui or you might do something else with music. You might do some sort of sound vibration music or healing, sound healing music like gong bath meditations or something like that. They, they can go off really, really, really popular, gong bath. You might, I feel like you're going to meet either an older male, somebody who has his own business or who is an entrepreneur. Yeah, you've been meeting people who haven't been available. A lot of people who are working through all of this stuff, especially if you're a healer, you might be attracting kind of other people who are on a healing journey. You want to kind of step out of that and meet somebody who's already established and doing something, okay? Could be somebody in the music business too, works behind the scenes, past life. Somebody you've known in this life or the past life, if you've met somebody in the past who suddenly become available, you haven't seen them for a while, that could be that person. Not sure if it's somebody in this life or the past life. Yeah, through your work. Or, work, or through his work. Let's see if we can get something else. G or a J initial. Greg. Gary. First, second or last name. Let's have a look. Cassidy. Gareth. You might, I feel like you might meet somebody through work because you've got the Ice King and the work card. Could be a past job, somebody from the past that you've worked with. Could be a former client or a former person that you might have done music with or something like that. They may have had children that have grown up and now they're more free and available or they want children or they've suddenly snapped their mind and thought, okay, I want to have kids now and a family. 
they definitely want marriage and children or they've got an innocence about them and fun about them. Blonde female could be you. Somebody who dyes their hair red, blonde or wears a wig. California girl or a Midwestern girl. You know, the, the shamanic stuff and the coaching, you, the, there's mainly women there. So you've, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone a little bit and kind of go somewhere else. I'm feeling like this person is more corporate or works in more of a organisation that you may or may not really like the vibe of, but the, the actual person is actually, don't, don't judge a book by its cover is what I'm getting with this one. Uh, he might have hobbies and interests that align with you, but on the surface he might be an accountant or something really like, oh, my God, this guy's boring or something like that. Yeah, he might wear a business suit to work. He could even sell pharmaceuticals, work in banking, finance, something sort of cutthroat, something that you don't believe in or don't support. But he's got the money. He's got the money, honey. Twin flame connection, you're going to be drawn together. You're going to balance each other out. This person wasn't available because they had another person that they were with or they were coming out of a relationship. They're looking for a true gem, somebody who's going to be like their fairy in their life, their pixie, their goddess, their queen, their healer, somebody who's a true gem who's got a good heart. And I feel like he's going to see that in you. Somebody lightish for their cultural background, lighter than darker. And the, the way to manifest this person in is to feel free. The freer you feel, the more that person will come in, okay? Often when you feel the most free and can't be bothered looking or finding or wanting, that's when they'll slip into your life when you're least expecting it and when you can least see it. All right. Any last calls, anybody? Thanks, Cassidy. Last call. Hi, Marla. How are you, my love? Are you going to put a super chat in? Okay, thanks, Marla. Go ahead. Any new home in the near future or house move? Okay. Marla's asking. Just remind me, Marla, where you're located. Let's have a look for Marla. Marla Malita. You're in Arizona, okay. I feel like you might go somewhere in state or into New Mexico if you're going anywhere. Yes, and you do have a house move. I don't know if you're on public housing or you're going to be on a list, but you will be receiving a letter in the mail. So keep an eye on the mail. You will get a new house. Oh, you moved last California. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. You moved last California. You moved last California last February. You moved from from California to Arizona. I feel like you might go in state or further east. Actually, you will get a key, a house, and if you are looking at getting on some sort of list or housing or putting your name down for something that you want to get into, whether it's buying, renting, or being on a housing list, you're going to get on and you're going to get notified. So do check your emails and your mail. All right, Marla. Yeah, I do feel like you will have a move. Okay, my love. Lots of love and blessings, everybody. We'll just keep it open for any last calls. Any other last calls? The larger the donation, the more in-depth the reading. And I'll be back soon. I hope you all have a great Halloween. I'm just going to leave it open for 30 seconds. 
Okay, cat, go ahead. I just was looking at my ship and I just felt like somebody's ship is coming in. That's a message for somebody. Somebody's ship's coming in real soon, real soon. Yeah, so I feel like that's a – sometimes you'll get a message through somebody else's reading for you as well because it is a collective – like there's a collective group energy here so people are kind of like adding energy to the, to the fire here to the source and can be multidimensional because we are in an inner circle group here, so it's good. Ooh, Marla, ships. Nice. Okay, go ahead, Kat, put your question in and your super chat. Thank you so much in advance. And to shout out where you're from, a little backstory if I don't already know your story. I like to pick up where you are up to with a backstory, okay? To get more of a targeted reading for you, something super targeted and kind of energetic. I keep getting the message Christmas is coming. I know it's coming, but... I think the ship is coming in for somebody around Christmas time. That's a definite yes. Or for some, a lot of you. Happy, yeah, happy Halloween to you as well, Marla. Thank you as well. Just keeping it open for Kat wants to do a last call. Thank you also, the moderators, Bossy Megs, Michi, and everyone else for joining. Thank you, thank you. Truly appreciated. Thanks, Lisa Marie, Mimi, Mrs. Fixit, Quantum Prayers Healing Technology. Okay. Kat, I'm leaving the super chat open for a reason. So it's either like, yes, you're going to do a super chat or you go privately and do and book a private session. So I don't know what, what you want me to say. It's up to you to decide what you'd like to do. Ah, hi, you, Smitty. How are you? Welcome back, my dear. Thanks for the five. Any messages for my job this week? Just working hard for your review. Don't want, don't want to wear yourself down already sick. Sorry to hear that. Job week. Need to find your phone so you can. You can. We can do a private then, uh, Kat. Don't worry about it. We'll do a private. In your own time, we can do a private and then I'll record you a reading and send it to you. Okay, yeah, private reading would be better, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at, I'm going to close after you, Smitty. She's the last one, or he, she, he. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, any messages for your job this week? Got a bit of a jumper here. Hmm. Why am I getting the message kettle of fish? What does that mean, kettle of fish? And not, not, call, not calling the kettle black. There's a few different things to do with kettles here coming in. Just be careful not to uh, overheat something or leave something boiling or, or get burnt by some sort of hot water or kettle. Just That, that could be just a warning message, all right? Um, somebody's jealous around you at work, gossips there. 
just keep yourself on the up and up. I do see you taking cough syrup or something like that. You are taking medication to keep yourself on track. And, yeah, I feel like that's going to work for you, okay? There is a jealousy there at work and they're going to try to take advantage of that, but I don't think they're going to have any way in. It's almost like you've got this sort of very protective bear energy kind of around you, around your energy field. You're welcome, Kat. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a private one. Yeah, do a private. And I'll I'll do it whenever I can in the next uh, one to two days. Okay, Smitty. Anything else for this week's job? Somebody might have a secret desire for you. Be attracted to you, have a desire, want to be a friend, come towards you as a loyal person. They might also ask you to work from home. If you're not well or not getting better, they might say, would you like to work from home this week? I feel like everything's going to go fine. Um, I would just sort of like ride it out. I'm seeing cough syrup or some syrup of some description. News and messages coming to you. I'm getting the word afar or a distance from it, from somebody at, at a distance. You're afraid of being trapped or locked in a situation you don't want to be in. It's almost like listen to your body. Listen to what your body's trying to tell you. Are you getting constantly sick at this location that you're working at? It could be environmental, like you don't want to be there. Or it might be that you want to be in a more sunny sort of sunny energy, whether that's a sunny organisation, a sunny element or weather. Okay, so have a, have a long, hard think about what your body is trying to tell you. Um, I, I feel like the work, though, is going to be fine. All right. Lots of love and blessings, everybody. Take care and thank you so much again for joining. Until the next time, see you on the next Super Chat, everybody. Ciao for now.